Hi folks, this is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Any Number of Video Editing Programs. And today we want to talk to you about a program that we think is one of the essential programs everyone should have on their computer. It's a free download and quite valuable, especially if you're troubleshooting a file. Why is a file not loading into my editing program or why is it behaving in a certain way? Media Info can tell you a lot about the file, can tell us a lot about the file, and then we can better advise you how to proceed. Media Info is a available for free, as I said, from MediaArea.net, your language, and then the Media Info subcategory. Once you download it and install it, the program can be launched, of course, from your program files, or you can simply, if you're on a PC anyway, locate the video file that you want to know about, right-click on it, and select Media Info from the context menu. Once you launch Media Info, it will show you kind of a general information screen. The information we really need will be found if you go to the View menu and set the View menu to Text. Now it gives you a full report and we can find out a lot of interesting things about the file. In fact, you can actually just drag right over this entire report, right click on it, copy it, and you can just paste it right into your post at whatever community forum you're posting to. And we will then be able to read this and find out information that can tell us why your file is giving you problems. Some of the things you can see here, or some of the things we're looking for, for instance, are what's the name of the codec. So your file isn't just an MOV or an AVI or even in MP4, there is also a compression system at work within that file. And we can find that compression system by looking here and you can see there is a video codec. In this particular case, that codec is an AVC video codec. That's pretty standard. Uh, Hi at L4, which is a standard AVC video codec. You're not going to have any problems at all with this file. We also look down here sometimes and look for the frame rate. Does it list a variable frame rate? In this case, it does not. It's a constant frame rate. Variable frame rates can give you problems with some video editing programs. We also can look at the audio format. Now, in this case, this is an AC3 audio. Now, AC3 audio is also known as Dolby Digital. You can have a problem with some video editing programs if you load a Dolby Digital file into your program and you're running on an operating system older than Windows 10. So Windows 7, if you're using a more current version of say Premiere Elements, there is no support for Dolby Digital on Windows 7 or the current version of Premiere Elements. However, there is support for Dolby Digital built into the operating system of most newer operating systems so you'll still be able to read it. But if you're not getting audio on your video file, this can be a telltale indicator of that. Now let me show you one other file that may be a problematic file because that's a pretty standard file right from a camcorder. Now these are some photos and video that were taken from an old still camera that also shot video. You notice the video here is an AVI. I'm going to right click on it and select the option to open media info on this file because this file gave me some problems. Why couldn't I edit it in my standard video editor? It's an AVI, right? So if I open up view, text, and I look through here, you can see that my codec in this particular case is an MJPEG not all video editing programs can edit MJPEG AVIs. You might also notice, for instance, that its size is only 320 by 240. This is an old video. Most, most still cameras can shoot much better video than this, but you can see there too is an indicator. We could have a problem because this is not going to fill a video frame very well. It's certainly not going to fill a 1920 by 1080 high def video frame well. So there are a number of things we can look at here, but the most important thing for you is to open your file in media info and then just copy this entire report copy it and paste it right into your post and then we'll be able to look at it and give you some advice. Anyway, that's how to get the information we need to help you out. Hope to see you at our community forum at moviepix.com. I'm Steve Grizzetti. Thanks for joining me. See you soon.